you to speak in this august house sir first of all i would like to convey my heartfelt gratitude to our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji for providing us circuit bench in jalpai sir i am also grateful to honorable home minister for his relentless effort towards free freeing indian criminal justice system from the clutches of british colonial legacy sir this bill this bharatiya nay sanghita bill 2023 was first introduced in 11th august on 11th august 2023 which seeks to repeal the ipc indian penal court 1860 sir the main the proposed changes the main proposed changes the main changes include provisions related to sedition related to offenses against women and vulnerable group terrorism offenses against the state also so the need the need for bringing out a new substantive law is the evolving nature of the crimes in the society sir there is there has been change in technology thereby there is except change in accepted social norms change in nature of economic crimes ever growing and also ever growing crimes against the vulnerable section of the country sir another important reason for which this law has been brought is due to striking for striking or down or omission of offenses through court judgments such as adultery and same sex intercourse sir the as my previous speaker was telling that it removes sedition it reduces it removes sedition from ipc i mean which was in ipc and it has added some provisions for attempting to excite cessation armed rebellion or subversive activities it also it also has provisions for encouraging feelings of separatist activities or endangering endangering our sovereignty unity and integrity sir this bill therefore therefore this new provision with this new provision the ambit of activities is has been clearly defined as and broadened sir sir additions related to the to uses of electronic communication use of financial means as tools for tools in indulging activities which could be against the integrity and sovereignty of the country this in the draft which is absent in the earlier ipc sir this bill also introduced a very important important uh, uh, issue of terrorism this terrorism the definition of terrorism exact definition of terrorism was absent in ipc is missing in ipc i i not only in ipc but also in uapa act 1967 also so the new bill new bill has proposed to add hefty financial penalties for terrorist activities minimum fine which has been recommended in this bill is minimum mandate mandatory minimum fine of fine of rupees 5 lakh to 10 lakhs sir the the draft bill draft bns bill 
has also incorporated a specific provision on mob lynching. Sir, I am, I myself is a sufferer of this, this mob lynching. In 2021, on June 11, I was attacked by a group of people who belongs to TMC party, aligned to TMC party, but no one has been punished. No one, I did not get justice for that, for that activity by this criminal activity by this, uh, by this criminal goons. And, sir, sir, this bill now has in, incorporated specific provision for mob lynching with where seven years imprisonment or death penalty has been stipulated, sir, for, for, for conducting this crime. Sir, the current IPC does not have any separate law for mob lynching. Sir, this separate law on mob lynching would ensure holding people accountable in lynching activities. Sir, sir, for the first time, organized crime has been defined under this bill. Sir, inclusion of this inclusion of organized crime, which is aligns with international obligation of India and then endeavor to adopt global practices. Sir, I wanted to say one thing here. Before, it was criminal activity, particularly financial, economical activity, economical, fraudulent, which was वो बाहर भाग जाने से उसका ऊपर ये होता नहीं प्रोसीक्यूशन नहीं होता था। But under this provision, under this 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 law, they are not, they will also be prosecuted, sir. Sir, age of girl increased. The bill also tries to increase the age from 16 to 18 years for child-related registrations and create. And uniformity in age of children. Sir, women has also get some benefit from this law. Sir, while courts have dealt with Member several ke, cases of women claiming or claiming rape. Jaldi, sir, jaldi khatam ki jiye. Aur bhi member hai. Sir, do minute, do minute member. Do minute nahi, ek minute mein khatam ki jiye. Okay, sir. While courts have dealt with cases of women claiming rape on the basis of breach of promise of marriage, there is no such specific provision in this IPC, which leads to confusion. And thus, Section 69, which criminalizes sexual intercourse not amounting to rape through deceitful means, aims at reducing confusion and is for the benefit of the women. Sir, the provisions relating to kidnapping of children, trafficking, employing, employing or procuring minors to commit offences. Dr. Uh, Pritam Munde. Gender neutral in this field, sir. Sir, Sir, Mohode, sir, aaj sir just, just, just a minute, sir. So, sir, with this, sir, the language has of the, in the offences of assault and voyeurism, voyeurism has been changed so that persons of any gender may be charged with these offences, okay. sir. Sir, thank okay. you, sir. Okay. So this okay. is a very replacing the outdated IPC. Doctor, thank you, day. sir, for giving me this opportunity once again. Sir, I convey my heartfelt gratitude to our honorable.